I want to preach a little while. To turn to Psalms 139. Psalms 139. I like this psalm because it talks about how the Lord knowing all about us. But it also talks about the Lord being present. The presence of the Lord. You know, and that's what every, every, every one of us we need. Yeah. We've had the presence of the Lord this morning and last night been over uh, overwhelming to us. But you know, it's a it's amazing that He would be with us yeah. when He knows all about us. That. That's the whole thing. Right. Read a few verses here. He said, "O Lord, Thou hast searched me and know me." He said, Thou knowest my down uh, settings and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts afar off. Thou compresseth my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all of my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and hast laid thine hand upon me. And I I read that verse, and I was just thinking about how... The emphasis that has been in this meeting how that he's laid his hand upon us. Yeah. Yeah. Laid his hand upon us. Amen. He said, such knowledge is too wonderful for me. Right. Yeah. It is high. I cannot attain uh, unto it. Whether shall I go from thy spirit or whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I take my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. Yeah. And I thought about my life, how that the Lord has been actually with me. Yeah. And I thought about how that he has always been there for me. Ever since I got saved, you know, I, 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 t- I tell everybody, didn't nobody have to tell me that I got saved. Yeah. Amen. That next morning, I felt the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Hey, the Lord was right there. Hey, I didn't know all about him. I didn't know who he was. But I know he's in there. Amen. Yeah. Hey, that old King James Bible was laying on my bunk, and I looked over at it, and he looked at Hey, he told me, he said, get you some of that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I opened up that book. Hey, I opened up that book, and I turned it to the Gospel of John. Been getting me some ever since, amen. And the next month, I cried my eyes out. Why? Because I know the presence of the Lord was with me, amen. Hey, good God. Hey, he's the best thing ever happened to me. I don't worry about my situations. I don't worry about my circumstances. Why? He said, hey, he said, because, he said, thou compressed my path and my and my lying down at, and are acquainted with all of my my ways. Right. Hey, I, I'm comforted. I'm comforted because of the presence of the Lord. Right. Hey, I don't have no doubt who's leading, who's yeah. guiding, who's in charge. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Hey, it's not the, the president. No. Hey, it's not Congress. <laughs> hey, hey, it's nobody at the, at the White House. Right. Hey, God's in charge. God's in charge and I'm confident in that because I feel his presence every day. Yeah. Amen. Hey, that's, that, that's what we want every day. We want uh, the presence of the Lord. And we can have that. We can have that if we'll just stay in the Bible. Stay in the Bible. Read his, his word. 
He said over there in Hebrews chapter 13 and verse number 5, he said, I'll never leave thee nor forsake thee. What is that? That's a promise of God that he's going to be present with us. Amen. Hey, I felt him this morning. I, I, I feel him right now. I, hey, I feel him on the inside of me right now. He said, amen, son, that's right. Hey, I'm telling you something that I'm never going to do. I'm never going to leave you. Never going to leave you. Hey, my circumstances, my circumstances don't control me. Why? Because I have confidence. I have confidence in who's in charge. He said he was in, in charge. He said, hey, he says, thou hast bes, bes, beset me behind and, and before and laid thine hand upon me. God said, I'm with you always, son. He said, I'm going before you. I'm behind you. Just like the preacher said last night, I got your back. Yeah. Amen. Hey, he, he's got my back. What, whatever I, I do or whatever I don't do, God's still in charge. God's still present with me. Hey, he said he never going to leave me, never going to forsake me. So why should I fear anything in this world? Why should I be afraid of anything in the world? He said in John 14, over, he said, if a man love me and obey my commandments, he said, me and my father will come and make our abode with him. Hey, not only you got the whole the Holy Ghost, yeah. but he said the Father would come. Yeah. Then he said Jesus would come. Yeah. What is that? That's the three in one Godhead. That's yeah. the Trinity. He said the Trinity. The, hey, the all in one God's going to come and he's going to walk through this world with me. Amen. Yeah. Hey, so why should I be, why, why should I be afraid? Yeah. Hey, why should I be troubled? Why should I be down and out? Why should I worry? Yeah, My wife asked me the other day. She said, uh, what is your goal? You know, what is your ambition? That's what I said. Well, I said, honey, really, uh, I'm 67. I don't have too much <laughs> ambition left. You know, I said, uh, if, if you pull out a ruler, he's promised us 70 years. I'm down to that much. <laughs> Amen. I don't have too much ambition left. Ain't that right? I said, like, here, I said, I want to see those men at the mission saved. And I want to see anybody he puts in my path saved. I said, and as long as he's with me, I know that can happen. Uh, uh, the uh, the uh, other day, now listen, I'm not bragging on Brother Rocky, but I'm bragging on the Lord. But I went to pick up a ditch witch that I had bought on auction. I went down there and there was a Mexican uh, 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 boy there and he said it, it, it's over in behind him, him trees. You go over, I'll be over and help you load it a few minutes. So I went over there and I waited him. Well, whenever he got over there he said uh, he, he went to complain about all of his troubles and all of his problems and all of his situations, how he'd, he'd come and he got this job, he wasn't paying enough and his wife wanted him to do something else and all this and I'm standing there and I'm just listening to him. I'm listening to him because the Lord wants me to. I'm listening to him because I'm waiting for the Lord to open that door. Yeah, yeah. Open that door. And whenever he, he got done complaining, I said I, I, I said, son I said 30, 37 Years ago, I had some of the same problems that you got. Yeah. Oh. I said, but I give my heart to the Lord. Yeah. Hey, I said, I give my heart to to the Lord. I said, if you'll give your heart to to the Lord, I said, He'll solve all them problems for you. Sure. Hey, and at the end there, I was I, 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 I was going, you, you give him a little piece of money for helping me load that thing. Well, I had a ten dollar bill and a hundred dollar bill. My flesh wanted to give him a ten dollar bill. Yeah. Yeah. But the Holy Ghost said, you give him a $100 bill. Show him how good that, 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 that God has been to you. I give him that $100 bill, boy, he, big old tears started coming in his eyes. He said, he said, that's too much. I said, no. I said, that's just a little down payment on what God wants to do in your life. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, hey, it's worth the whole trip just to get down there and to witness to that boy. Hey, just to feel the presence of God. Hey, to, hey, I'm going to see that old boy one day in heaven. I believe that. 100%. Amen. Amen. Hey, 
Hey, and then we got an old guy over there at the mission. When we get into some slop and all and everything, he, he's got some hogs, and we got some hogs. And the other day, I t t took a little bread and a bag over there and everything, and whenever I dropped it off, this, this man is in his 80s. I, I know he's in his 80s. Holy Ghost got to deal with my heart when I, I pulled off. He said, you didn't talk to him about the Lord. I said, Lord, if you'll let me live till we get a little more slop and a little more bread. I said, I promise you, whenever I go back, I'll talk to him. I got to go back over just the other day. This older man is 82. I said, Mr. Gillum, I said, uh, when I left here the other day, the Lord told me to ask you about your salvation. Do you know the Lord? He pulled his, he pulled his hat off his head when I, I mentioned the Lord. He said, Brother Rocky, he said, I got sick a while back. He said, and I had to go to the hospital and I asked the Lord to save me. He said, and I've been doing good. He said, I ain't drunk no liquor no more. <laughs> I said, well, Mr. Gillum, I said, if you ask the Lord to save you and you really meant it, I'm telling you, he'll save you. And that old man, he said, well, I hope so. I said, well, you can know so, Mr. Gillum. I said, if you have any, any doubts about you being saved, I said, you, I said, you let me know it and we'll talk about it. But that old man never put his hat back on as long as we're talking to, about the Lord. Huh? Hey, that's 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 my goal. That, that's my ambition. Hey, that 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 that's what God wants every one of us to do. Hey, God, we, God, God wants you to use that presence of the Lord in your life to win somebody else. Cause He's going, He's going to direct your path. He says He knows our path. He set us on our path because of the presence of the of the Lord. That somebody needs to see the presence of the Lord in your life. Because he needs to get saved. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. And that's what my, my ambitions are. That's what uh, my goals are. I, 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 don't, I don't have uh, too much that I, I desire everything else. I, I, me, 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 my wife sat down in a brand new house. And every once in a while we'll, we'll be sitting on gas. Look around and say, man, this show is pretty, ain't it? <laughs> pretty, huh? Yeah. That the Lord give us. I mean, you know, God, give it everything. Hey, everything I ever wanted, everything I ever needed, God give it to me in the last 37 years. Hey, I ain't got too much ambition anymore besides getting people saved. Amen. That's what we ought to have. Hey, and if you'll, if you'll have that kind of uh, ambition about serving uh, the Lord, he said, I'll, I'll supply all your needs according to my riches and glory. We ain't never lack for nothing. Amen. God has always provided for us. Always been a good God. And that's the, 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 the same thing that, that he's, he's saying. I had a bunch of seeds in that in their messages. But I don't have to have all that uh, alliterated outline to explain my heart. I promise you that. Amen. He's just been a good God to me. Hey, and, hey, hey, and whenever he gets through with me. He's going to take me to heaven one, one day. But until then, I want everybody in the country to know one thing. There are some things I may not know. There are some places I can't go. But I am sure of this one thing. My God is real, for I can feel him in my soul. My God is real, real in my soul. My God is real, free as was and made me whole. His love for me is like pure gold. My God is real, for I can feel him in my soul. I cannot tell 
Just how you felt when Jesus took your sins away. But since that day, yes, since that hour, my God's been real, for I can feel His holy power. My God is real, real in my soul. My God is real, for He has watched and made me whole. His love for me is like pure gold. My God is real, for I can feel Him in my soul. Amen. Amen.